Greetings, my name's Chris from CF1010. I'm going to show you how to create a panoramic um, picture for, for free, basically. All you need is a camera, any digital camera, and this little bit of software. Quite often when we're out and about, it's very difficult to see the whole thing, you know, even with a wide angle. If you've got a, um, a beach scene, a landscape, sometimes one picture is not enough. By taking a series of pictures, and stitching them together, you can see the whole thing. Now, what I always suggest, and I'll make a little video on this as well, hold the, the camera, take one picture, rotate around, have a little bit of an overlap, a third of the picture overlap, take another one, take another one, and four or five pictures, however many you want to take. So you've got a whole series of pictures with a nice bit of overlap. And you do need some even lights. So if it's a real bright sunny day, it may have a problem. But anyway, that's another story in another video. So what we're going to do, go to this website, and I found the Serif Panorama Plus, the starter edition, and you can go to the website and download for free. Now, you have to create an account. Um, I always, a good tip really is to create yourself another email account just for your software and stuff you use on the internet. Uh, keep your personal one to one side. And once you've created an account, you can download your software and install it, which should be no problem. Now this is a free bit of software, so you might get some warnings coming up and saying, oh, do you know you can purchase a uh, free version? You don't have to do it, so you don't have to buy it. This version is good enough with a little bit of help from Picasa. And as you can see, there's a few like, preferences here, and you can turn off your update, uh, you startup wizard, which will appear every time. But first of all, we need to bring some pictures in. So what I tend to use, and I really highly recommend it, is Picasso Free. Now Picasso Free is again a free download from uh, Google, and it's brilliant for organizing your images. It does so much. So I'm gonna import some I did earlier on, and it's a few I took, which I can probably use. I'm gonna just put them onto my um, desktop, uh, and I've got a photo panoramic. I'm going to put the pictures into that. I'll download them into that. So, what uh, this software will do, you can import all, and away we go. So, I'm just, well, I'm going to set this to today's date taken. Import all my pictures, Wait, and here they are. I got three pictures. You'll see a lot of my pictures duplicate because I take my pictures in a raw format as well so I can process them if a bit further if I want to. So I'm going to take the three pictures which are JPEGs and I'm just going to highlight them, one, two, three. And what I'm going to do now is export those images because they're quite big file sizes. Um, the paid version will do with bigger pictures but I'm going to just go in here and I'm just going to Save these uh, pictures. Uh, panor panoramic. <laughs> Good spell there. I'm going to resize those to 1500. Um, but again, you had to play with the software to see which is the best size it works for yourself. So I've only got three. I'm going to export these now into a little folder. So I've got three versions of this. And this is another good thing about. Um, a Picasso is that you don't have to worry about your original picture. You know, um, you're not going to mess with it, shall we say. You can make your changes, change the lighting, make some crops very quickly, but it does not mess with the original one. Once you want to deal with it, you go to export and you ex export that picture as a, a new file. More that on that another day. So we've got our three pictures now. We're going to go into the software. Panorama Plus, and I need to obviously add some pictures, add photos, and what I'm going to do, uh, find those three pictures I've put into my little panoramic photo, and they are one, two, three. So, open them up, up comes this little thing, oh, do you know you can upgrade? Well, click to upgrade, it will give you some advice of how to stitch them together, which is quite nice. Um, 
the upgrade that did a lot of extras, but we're not going to worry about that one at the moment. And I've got the three pictures there, and all I have to do now is create the panorama and walk away and go and have a coffee or just watch. That's this wonderful bit of software now dishes them together. It depends on how well you held the camera, it depends on how they're going to come out. And there you have it. That comes, thank you for using it. Tells you how to export it. We're not going to, well, we, we can go to export if we like, but what I'm just going to show you that you can see obviously you've got all this. Now you can crop it in the full edition, but I, I use um, Picasa. So there are three pictures, and as you can see what I've done in one picture, moved it, got my daughter and Chuck to pose, and turned it around. So these are three pictures were taken. Um, and now all I've got to do is save it. I'm going to export that image. I'm going to put it into um, my little panoramic folder. And panorama and save it. Now that is now saved in that folder. Now what I'm going to do, you, you can see it here. This is the final little bit. This is one step you wouldn't have to take in the paid version, but it doesn't take long. Now I'm going to do edit in Picasa. So I'm going to edit this, edit this picture in Picasa. And here's my picture in Picasa. To take all these little black bits out, I need to crop it. So I'm going to crop it down. And it's a manual cropping, and I can crop it across there. Oops, I can move it down and get rid of all the little black bits there. And obviously you'll get some strange effects with the camera. Obviously I was rotating around you know, on a bigger horizon. You won't get this strange curvature of my fence or my office. Trust me, my, my fence building is not that bad. But there we have nice little picture um, panoramic picture which obviously is uh, you can't quite see all of it on here but if I just play that one give you a little idea of how wonderful that looks and of course you can enlarge go right in 100% and pan along and see how good your stitching was obviously Curvature there was not wonderful, but the more you take, the more you play, the better you'll become. The nice thing about these really are that you can use these for banners for websites. You can use them, um, you can print them out. And obviously, a lot of um, print companies will print out these nice panoramic views. But it's brilliant if you want to take pictures of uh, beach scenes, if you want to take pictures of a landscape, get all the memories in there. If you want to have fun, try to be creative like I have today, putting free cars in there, and you can. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, it was obviously, you can see, unrehearsed, but it all seemed to go quite well. And I'll give you some more tips, maybe on how to use Picasso, because I said it is well worth downloading. It works very well, and it's free. So I'm going to stop this now and speak to you again. Anyway, enjoy. Bye.